Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Sai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Sai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Sai. All praise unto Howl by Shimei Howl Sai, double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, brothers, will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I just seen this article here on Russia Today, and this is going into the uh, Syria, Syria attacks, of which they've been, um, they're basically saying, you know, that was a false flag. You know, they, you know, these countries have got their own propaganda, just like our America's got their own propaganda. Whether it was or it wasn't, that's not the purpose of this video. Okay, this purpose of this video is um going to show you the power of um truth. Okay, the power of this word going out there, the power of the internet being there, okay, and the power of um uh uh um uh, uh, of the more side ultimately. Because when we go into the scripture right here. Um, Isaiah the, the 47th chapter Okay You get to finding out that the Maasai Basically was going to reveal the secrets Of Esau Okay Which is the so called white people So called white man that rules America And consequently the whole world Okay And part of that whole beast system System is also NATO Okay so let's start off here with this article So it says here false flags are real Okay US has a long history Of starting wars Okay, via lies. Okay, now the reason I I brought this this scripture here is simply because, okay, when you read this scripture, it says, "Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, the untouched woman." Okay, virgin daughter of Babylon, be in America. Okay, sit on the ground. There is no throne or daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, because war was going to be, because as these nations are seeing why, uh, uh they're saying the U.S. has a long history of starting, starting wars over lies. Would you think their anger is going to be directed to? Going to be di directed towards America. So take take the millstone grind and cover the locks, make bare the legs and cover the thigh and pass over the rivers, man. So that's that's what you're basically starting to see here. Okay, them, them so-called secret moves that they used to be able to do back in the day and people will just wink at it. That's being revealed. Okay, also to the shame. Okay, that is that is in America, which was the enslavement of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, use of the term false flag is uh, often met with raised eyebrows and accusation of conspiracism. Okay, but false flags are very real and are very present on the geopolitics. Okay, and that's because this man's he's got the serpent tongue. He's full of lies. Okay, he went out there to to, to rule the world or to expand his desires. And he was going to do that with um, via lies. This is the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, the fourth verse. It says, behold, his soul, which is in him, is, 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 is lifted up, meaning that he's proud. So when they talk about America being untouched, as we saw the virgin daughter, the untouched woman, okay, which is America, which is Babylon. Okay, when we see that, and we also see the general uh, 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 sentiment, okay, of Esau, which is basically... Or most mostly exemplified by America, it's that pride, man. That pride. This is what this scripture is talking about. It's talking about their pride, because his soul, which is in him, is lifted up, which is pride. It's not. It is not upright. Okay, he is um in him, but the just shall live by faith, which is us. We're the just. We're living by the faith and the hope that the Yahweh Hashem is going to come and um rel relieve us of this uh, uh, man's uh, devilish antics. Yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, which is that propaganda, the false flags. So they have these um, news outlets and they people actually believe in these news outlets that, that are within the United States. And they actually believe Trump's out there to actually stop some some terrorists or he's actually out there to stop Assad. There's an agenda here, man. That's the, the agenda is to rid the world of uh, Russia. But then they're both Edomites. And that goes back onto the book of Daniel. Our house divided up against itself shall not stand. So let's go back here and of which that scripture that I just caught with, that's actually within the New Testament. But it tells you that within Daniel, there was going to be parts of, um, there was going to be a kingdom that was divided. Okay, parts that were strong like iron and parts that were like uh, uh, sand. Right, so it says, um, yea, also because he transgressed it by wine, he's a proud man, neither keepeth at home. That's why they have had it to where you got, you got this scripture here. It says, U.S. has long history of a lion, a lion to start wars. Why do you think? Why why do they need to start wars? What's that all about? Right? That's all about expansion. You start wars to expand. Now they had like I said, it, it, like it says here, it is they transgress by wine, which is the propaganda and that. 
Lord, I have you believe they're out there to um, they're out there to what to to keep the world safe, but really they're out there to expand their agenda, and ultimately that agenda is going to be complete world domination. All right. So it says, yea, oh, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desires as hell, and he is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. So they cannot be satisfied with just sit with just Iraq. They will not be. They wasn't just satisfied with just Afghanistan, of which all of those wars they were started under false pretense. They wasn't just satisfied with taking down Gaddafi. Okay, they had to go out there and get uh, um, uh, they had to go out there and get Syria, and ultimately that's going to be them trying to get into Russia. That's why you got it to where you got American bases out there all along Russia's borders. All right. So let's go back into here. It says um. Uh, use use of the term false flag. So we read that. So it says last week the United States, along with the UK, France, bombed Syria. Uh, uh, Syrian government targets uh, ostentatious, uh, ostens ostensibly in retaliation for an alleged chemical attack which was carried out one week before the city of Doma. All right. So they go into all of that, and I'm sure people have have gone into that and explained this down there. So my premise really is is this. Okay, the the, the lies. And uh, and how the lies are being uncovered. So now let's go into the scriptures, and I'm going to I'm going to go into the book of Psalms, the eighty uh, third chapter, not eighty third, Psalms the fifty eighth chapter. So the scripture tells you about this, the the nature of how this person was going to rule. They're going to rule with deceit, lies, uh, 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 treachery. They all set up covenants, which one of those uh, covenants that has, that they have they had set up, one of those covenants that they had set up was. Uh, a declaration that they wasn't going to do, uh, they wasn't just going to go out there and, and bomb someone before it's been, uh, it has gone through the proper channels. But what did they do? They just went out there and bombed it anyway. All right, so it says, Psalms 58 and um, 2, it says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Uh, sorry, uh, Psalm 58 and 1, let's go straight to the point. It says, um, Do ye indeed uh, speak in righteousness or congregation? Do ye teach uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in your heart you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in, your, in the earth. The wicked, okay, which of which when we go into the book of Job 9 and 24, you find out that the, hand, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Meaning to say the person that was going to rule the earth was the wicked. Um, Job 9 24. Uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, which is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. So when you open up the... Um, the images that's supposed to be about the saints, okay, the people, uh, 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 the people of the Lord, you see all bunch of Edomite people, Edomite looking people. And that's just not supposed to be the case. This case is supposed to be that there was um, a Jake's in there. So it says there he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So we go back here to Psalms the fifty eighth chapter. Yea, in the heart you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your. So it says, uh, uh, um, do you? Uh, you, you. Uh, this is the third verse. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go, uh, they go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies, and that's what they have done. Okay, they, they, they set up these lies, and they have the people believe in all of these lies, and as a result, they, they basically rule this world under a veil of, um, under a veil of, 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 of secrecy. But that secrecy is being, um, revealed. Okay, that's why you got articles like this being. Pushed, pushed out there and more and more it's going to become uh, become it become like that to the end that the scripture is going to be fulfilled that what all of these different nations are going to hate the whole so it says here the wicked are restrained from the womb they go astray as soon as they are, uh, are born speaking lies let's go back on to Isaiah the 47th chapter um so back back and I need to go forward now it's a shame this thing don't have a forward button um Isaiah uh 47 and I'm going to finish it off here with a few precepts here within Isaiah, the 47th chapter. And um, three, so it says that nakedness shall be uncovered. So their, their, their way of being, how they decide to conquer certain places, it was going to be revealed. In the light of times when the internet was going to be out here, it's prophesied within the scriptures that you're going to have the, the internet. Okay, when you, had, when you was going to have it to where brothers was getting into the prophesying, you was going to have certain things revealed. And it was going to become so apparent what the agenda is. It was going to become so apparent what the end goal, end goal for Esau is. And, and people was going to, going to see how wicked these people were. So it says, Thy shame shall be seen. I'll take vengeance. I'll not meet thee as a man. And that's the Lord. 
the Lord ain't gonna meet uh, meet this man uh, 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 in 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 um in, in a fleshly in a fleshy uh, 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 manner. He's gonna he's gonna be like a uh, um like a like a he's gonna be in like an angelic force, right? So the point there is 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 that what that nakedness shall be uncovered, uh, um which is the shame that shame shall cover thee lies, robbery, treachery, okay, uh, um like it was saying within Habakkuk, there are uh, uh, um what, what do you call uh, uh, um eagerness to take everything that was gonna be uncovered okay so with that i'm gonna say all praise unto you i'll shine the honesty apostles a great millstone honesty prophets that be pushing this truth in sincerity shalom